Welcome back. We're Paul and Tan and thanks for joining us for another vlog as we document our travels around Oz. We head further up north to Shark Bay, camping in some epic spots. We'll share more detailed information on the places we visited and stayed in the description below. Morning. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Um, we're leaving Kalbarri this morning. We've just had Ricky and at the cafe we cheated this morning and we are heading to Shark Bay. Um, looking at the forecast, looks good. Fingers crossed, three days of not so much wind um, and high 20s temperatures. The only difficulty might be finding somewhere to camp because we haven't booked, but um, I'm sure we'll squeeze in somewhere. So yeah, we'll keep you posted with the trip. Shark Bay Road heading towards Denham. Tides out. We just thought we'd stop for a leg stretch. Eagle Bluff Campground is one of four overnight campsites south of Denham, all on the coastal strip. Bookings can't be made in advance and payment and bookings must be made through the Shark Bay Visitor Centre. If you're after more information, we've put it in the description below. Little Lagoon is located about 5 kilometres from Denham as you head towards the Francois Perron National Park or Monkey Mire. It's a safe spot for swimming, kayaking, fishing and kite surfing. Little Lagoon can be accessed by two wheel drive and there is no cost to visit.
Entry to Francois Perron National Park is $15 for a standard vehicle. If you're camping at any of the campsites within the park, it'll set you back $11 per person per night. You can't pre-book the sites, so keep that in mind in busy times. All the campsites have toilet facilities and national park fees and camping fees can be paid at the entry hut at the start of the track into the park. Due to the challenging nature of the tracks, a high clearance four-wheel drive is recommended. The Department of Parks and Wildlife have kindly provided air pumps and tyre gauges at the entry and exit points to the park so that you can reduce and increase your tyre pressure as needed. There's also a large rubbish bin so that you can dump your rubbish on your way out of the park. Both are great facilities. From what we discovered after looking at almost all of the campgrounds in the park, the campsites are set up in well-designed loops so that campers aren't overly close to other campers. Some sites are located closer to the beach and some are more set back, which provides some protection from the wind. Day-use facilities are also provided for day-trippers into the park. T 
to get to the tip of the Francois Perron National Park, you take a track around the outside of Lake Montbazin, which is a gypsum clay pan, also known as a birida. These landlocked saline lakes support specially adapted plant and animal species. I thoughts. <laughs> uh oh, here we go again. So we're currently in the um, <laughs> treacherous. No, it's actually. Oh, I can't even explain it. It's kind of like soft, but it's full of bumps. Um, we are between. This bit's alright. Yeah, this bit's good. It's actually perfect now. Ah, oh, relief. No, we're between South Gregory's and Gregory's Campground. Um, getting closer to the tip of the um, Francois Perron National Park. So we're going to head out. To, oh, there's Gregory's Campground down that way. We'll go and have a look at that a bit later on. Um, potential camp spot for tonight. But um, we're going to ride out to the tip of Cape Perron. Um, it's about another, oh, I don't know, probably about another five or six k's. Um, poor thing's more, so I don't know. Uh, we're going to go out there. The track's actually pretty good here, and then we'll come back and figure out where we're going to camp for the night. Uh, yeah. Where are we? Absolutely beautiful. There's hardly anybody here either. This is actually Cape Perron, Perron maybe. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a um, trek down to the beach, but yeah, I don't know if you can see in the distance, there's all those birds lined up. <laughs> They're all like sitting on the edge having a paddle. Um, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get down to the beach, but probably not this way. Um, but it's definitely... Well, that is the access point, but you and me won't handle uh, it. Probably won't be going down to the beach then. So what's this place called? Skipjack Point. So it's about a kilometre away from Cape Perron. There's a lighthouse. A lighthouse? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's called Cape Inscription Lighthouse, but it's not oh. like the one at Dirk Hartog. It's very modern. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to put the drone up in the air. Oh, yeah. We'll give it a go. Well, it's been sitting on the ground until now, so we're going to try and put it up.
big boy shark straight ahead. Come on, mate, come up. Big ray out there coming this way. Oh, look at the size of him. Oh, so there. If you can see that bird in the water, just in front of him is a massive school of big silver fish. Bird's gone down, get some lunch. Wowzers. An old stingray in the distance. What's that over there? Yeah. That's the shark, I think. Oh, and potentially a shark or two in the distance. Look right out there. There's one there. There's a little shark right there. Just coming into the shallows. Oh, yeah. Tiny little one. I can see that. But right out there, you can see there's a bit of a dark line there. Yeah. I think that's something moving too. This place is next level. I don't think I've, I mean, Broome's nice, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. How good are the walkways too? So for someone that's hobbling around on one leg, this is actually perfect. Oh, what a life living out there in that water. Judging by the number of sharks, I'm glad I'm not in it, but I would fancy a swim right now. There's going to be 20 of them. So down there in my shallows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, there must be 20 or more sharks. Know. And there's a couple of swimming out here. Oh, there's a couple swimming out in the distance and one just down below us. Oh, look down here. Yeah, it's a big, there's a big ray out there. Oh yeah, and yeah. a massive stingray in the distance coming in. And that school of fish is still sitting there. This is insane. So definitely not for swimming. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful here. Check it out around here. Definitely could spend all day here.
as we set up for the night at Bottle Bay, this seems like the perfect place to end this video. What a trip so far and we can't wait to share the rest of it with you, so stay tuned. Thanks for travelling along with us on this adventure so far and as always we really do appreciate your support by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow along on more adventures in our troopy. Cheers!